Something's going to happen. Something wonderful. G'day fans and welcome to another exciting episode of Talk Nerdy to Me. Hopefully you missed us from last week and just straighten up the cameras here, get Jeffro to sit in the right spot and NPS is looking good. We've people joining us already, which is absolutely fantastic. So this is a welcome to our Facebook and YouTube viewers. Someone likes us already, there's a thumbs up. We've only been on air for like less than 20 seconds. How good is that? Uh, we've got Carol joining us from Ballarat, who's enjoying a hell of a lot more freedom than we are in Melbourne, sands, masks, and uh, self-isolation. Um, so before we get too excited about all these exciting things, I've got to introduce my lads. So uh, MPS and uh, Jeffro, how are we going tonight? Very good. Yeah, good. Very, very good. So it's all, all cool. Very, very exciting. Um, now we're going to talk about some robots. So uh, Jeffro, are you ready for this, old son? Yeah, absolutely. Far away. So... Uh, we're going to talk about uh, robots and all the different robots and all the different styles. And basically, I broke it down into four different categories. So the first one you'll see is they look like us. And I guess it's uh, pretty obvious as to uh, uh, which movie that is. So that's um, Spaceballs. So we'll just move on to that. <laughs> Yeah, good on you. Actually, I'm just looking, for that, just looking for that bone of contention. <laughs> yeah, good on you. Um, actually, we may. I was thinking about this the other day about um, synthetic people because in Picard, it's a big the TV series Picard. There's a big thing about synthetic people, and I think maybe even next week we may have a good just a good chat about synthetic people and how it works in the sci-fi thing. And of course, replicants are synthetic people. So uh, mm -hmm. uh, there you go. So so these aren't robots in the stricter sense; these are synthetic. So we move yeah. on. Good on you, Jeffro. And as you can see, here's some more examples. So um, Alita Battle Angel, um, Beta, who was basically the replacement for Alex Rogan in the uh, last Starfighter. And I wanted to put a picture of just Alex Rogan, but I thought, no, I'm going to be consistent. And that was the only picture I could find of Beta. And, of course, uh, back in the uh, the late 80s or early 90s, we had uh, Cherry 2000. So that was a definitely a VHS experience for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's very funny. Apparently, Blade Runner 2049 is on free to wear tonight. So don't leave our show and watch that. Watch us first, then watch it on replay or something like that. So, um, yeah, it's funny. You wouldn't class like Beta as a robot, but I suppose he is because he's got all these um, um, mechanical workings. And stuff oh, like I've got a, so got, a, got a dad joke. Do you know how much uh, a litre is? What? It's about 98 cents at the moment at any petrol station. <laughs> You're an idiot, you know. That's like that old joke about, oh, I saw a dude fighting with a pie cost. Oh, what's a pie cost? Oh, it's a $1.20 at local 7-Eleven. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, golly. Um, look okay. at this. William, William has said that Cherry 2000 is actually quite a good film. He's got it on Blu-ray. How good is that? So there you I go. did have it on VHS, so I haven't actually upgraded since then. Now, Michelle, stop telling everybody else what else is on TV tonight. We want everybody to stay with us, okay? So Invasion of the Body Snatchers is on. Don't tell me that because I'll run off and watch it. So uh, anyway, we will move on. Go for it. And, and of course, we uh, couldn't go past um, Star Trek with uh, Data and Law. Um, and, of course, the Fembots, we've got two different examples from that. We've got uh, Dr. Goldfoot, where that was used initially. And, of course, later on in uh, Austin Powers, and I was going to use two different pictures but when you actually look at them, they pretty much uh, cloned the Fembots in Austin Powers. So I thought I'll just use the one. And then, of course, because Bill and Ted's making a, um, uh, a launch later this year, of course, in the uh, second movie, they actually had their robotic doubles. So that was um, why I put that in. I thought it was interesting with uh, Star Trek. They make a big thing about data and law. Then you get to Star Trek Nemesis, and law doesn't even get factored into it whatsoever, and they bring in B4. And even in Picard, they're talking about B4, and law just doesn't exist all of a sudden. It's like, hang on, but he was a pivotal character in the TV series. So how do you just uh, ditch the guy like that? So there you go. Um, you know, I like I, it. You go. Yeah. I was going to say, um, uh, I didn't think law was really uh, used because law, what is it good for? Absolutely <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I'll say it again. <laughs> <laughs> um, I like this one from Aaron. There we go. Cain from my own. Like us with more milk. There you go. That's like right. That. <laughs> Actually, I completely forgot um, Kane. I've got a, a list of honourable mentions, and uh, I forgot him. So I do apologise. Uh, good, good reminding me. I feel shamed because I, I don't want to get a bone. I don't want to get a bone of contention next week. Well We've already got one because Ads is on fire tonight. He said that uh, Alita was a cyborg and Cherry 2000 were. Yeah, you're right, Ads. There's probably a little bit of 
like splitting hairs between cyborgs mm. and uh, robots in the strictest sense, and that's a, probably a fair call. I mean, you wouldn't uh, argue, you wouldn't class some of them as as, as uh, robots, but it's Jeffro's presentation. So as far as I'm concerned, he has the he can he can say what he likes. So there you go. All right, I, we move I, on. I just now we go back for a sec. The uh, fembots. Uh, now I only found out about the other version of the fembots. These ones had machine gun jubblies. Did the old ones have machine gun jubblies as well, or just these yeah, ones? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. They did. Yeah, and and they Daniel, did. it's not okay. Sorry, go on. No, Daniel, no. it's not Bishop. It's Bishop. <laughs> uh, here we go. Uh, yes, there is a difference between synthoids and angel. I know it's 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 whatever. Just it's Jeffro's presentation. He can cop the flack for it. So for the bone of contention for next week. Go for it. That's right. So I thought I'd go with something really obscure, and um, I don't think anyone has actually seen this movie, but it's uh, called <laughs> Simone. So uh, <laughs> just after the bone, <laughs> just bone. <laughs> no, bad. Me a bad bone. Oh. So um, uh, Simone is sort of the ultimate in sort of replicants, and um, that I think had Nicole Kidman in it, and of course couldn't go past the uh, the, the two Terminators. And uh, last but not least, uh, the ultimate replicants, I guess, the Stepford Wives. Well, no, the Stepford Wives were really weren't replicants, and that's true. In fact, they were actually were robots. They made a real thing. They were robots, them. yeah, so, robot um, replicants. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, typically when you think of robots, you think of machines that are mechanical, uh, like metal. Um, but, of course, what we've seen so far, with the exception of the T-1000, they've got a, like a, an outer covering, which is like human skin, right? And that's where the whole cyborg thing comes into it. I mean, even in RoboCop, Right, they say he's a cyborg, you idiot. So it's like, was he a robot? Is he? He's half human, part man, part machine, all cop sort of thing. So I guess maybe some people would argue if there's absolutely no organic elements in it whatsoever, it is a robot. Mm. But as soon as you introduce organic elements, regardless of what they may be, uh, it's a what do you call it? A uh, cyborg. Um, cyborg. So I don't yeah. know. So. Yeah, I've just made that one up. So there you go. Uh, and you'll notice um, we haven't included any Star Wars or Star Trek. Actually, we had some Star Trek. Sorry. No Doctor Who or any of that sort of stuff. We're going for the more obscure things. So uh, yeah, and the um, the honourable mentions in that particular category, we had Daryl, the yep. uh, data analysing robot youth form. Very good. Uh, and uh, Jaime the robot from Get Smart. So uh, they were my two honourable mentions. Very good. Very good. What else we got here? Uh, law appearance in Picard season two. You never know. Well, it's true, Colin. You never, never know. So, although most of the audience will be thinking, who the hell is, is B4 come back and go, uh, yeah, no, nah, maybe it just would confuse everybody. So, there you go. Um, very good. All right, we move on. Okay. So, the uh, next, as you could probably tell from the uh, thing there, is not quite in thy image. So, obviously, the last lot looked pretty much human. These are uh, basically robots that have the basic characteristics, uh, but aren't sort of really human shaped. So um, the slide, the title one there is from Quark. And if you remember Andy the robot, that's what that was. So um, I'm sure some people probably recognize that, but most people, unless they know their 70s science fi comedies, probably didn't. Um, yeah, so. I'm just going to jump in here. So Michelle said, organic element, does that mean the $6 million man is a cyborg? Uh, Actually, he no. is because... Yeah, yeah, no, the um, the books were actually called Cyborg. Oh, there you go, eh? Oh, golly, there's a whole discussion as to what is and what isn't really. So at least in this version that not quite in thy image, these are definitely robots, so we're not going to confuse these, that's for sure. So there you go. That's great. So, I mean, um, here we have some real classics here, of course, uh, Maria from Metropolis, uh, the Tin Man, and, of course, I had to look this one up because I wasn't too sure with the THX uh, police force but it does actually list them in Wikipedia as uh, police androids. Yeah, they're robots, 100%, and that's the mm. thing about them. So, in fact, you even see them malfunctioning in the film as well. The guys, like, crashing into the walls and, you know, they're not working perfectly. So, uh, uh, yeah, maybe they got the inspiration uh, from um, Dave Yerstel still where they use um, robots as the police. So, uh, But, yes, they are definitely um, androids. Yep. I got a question. I got a question, Jeffro. How do you class the mm. Tin Man as a robot? Well, I didn't I mean, think he was a robot. Well, who, who, who knows what's under the hood, so to speak. So, uh, <laughs> um, you know, okay. I mean, you, oil, you oil him up, you know, so uh, obviously he's mechanical in some way, so therefore... And he doesn't um, have a heart, so, yeah. you know, yeah, so there you go. Yeah, but so. Know people like the same thing. You oil them up and you and they've got no heart, so... Hey, you know. you, you're trying to give me a bone of contention. 
watch it, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm going I, with this one tonight. <laughs> oh, golly. Bloody. So, so if you've got the Tin Man in there, then shouldn't Scarecrow be in there as well? Because he doesn't have well, a heart. You know, gen generally, um, you know, because he hasn't got mechanical features, I do tend to think that, um, you know, robots are sort of at least sort of met metallic in some way or have some metal parts. <laughs> uh, I like right. this one. Hang on. Here we go. Yeah. Thanks, Jeffro. I just spat coffee at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. Very, very good. Um, who knows? Don't yeah, get into the scarecrows and stuff. There you go. Just wipe it up. <laughs> All right, we move on. This is hang on, getting more convoluted than it needs to be. All right, here we go. Okay, so some real classics, and these um, we have uh, Marvin, the paranoid android from the, um, uh, the the TV series. Could have done the movie one, but uh, I think the, the first one's classic. Um, one I'm surprised I even remembered about was uh, Bind Centennial Man. So uh, if you're confused and saying who the heck is Andrew Martin, well, yeah, I guess uh, think Robin Williams and Bicentennial Man. And, of course, um, Crichton from Red Dwarf. So would Crichton be classed as a robot? Well, I mean, he is mechanical. Mm, I suppose. Yeah, I get I, I like him more as a robot than anything else because it's not synthetic material that's on him. It's just painted to, and it looks because he takes his head off in in the series yeah. so yeah uh, class is a robot for sure yeah right okay yeah fair enough and um the um other honorable mention i had in that particular category was dot matrix from Spaceballs, but uh, i didn't have enough room to put her in so she got cut off now well, she's i'm just a, wondering real robot. yep i'm just wondering how many people might recognize these robots and from what movie you guys have any clue? I'm going to take a guess. Batteries not included is one. Well done. Spot on. First first guess, and you are right. Batteries not included. Yeah. So these are basically all the uh, the nice robots, the good ones, and there are many. So uh, let's continue on. Okay. So in I was going <laughs> with all the, t the TV ones. So uh, people might sort of recognize some of them. Uh, Alpha 5. Uh, Power Rangers, I think people would probably recognise that one. Uh, Astro Boy, well, duh. Uh, it's got the name on it, if you didn't even know. Uh, now, Brayman, anyone want to hazard a guess? Uh, no. No, there's probably a few people out there that would, would answer this one, but it takes seven seconds for them to type it up. Uh, that would be Thunderbirds. It was uh, Brains' um, uh, computer. And, of course, uh, the last one uh, that's going back big time. Anyone want to guess? Probably a few people out there might recognise it. No, nah, it's too uh, too uh, obscure for you guys. It's Johnny Socko and his flying robot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's Socko. <laughs> Socko to me, boy. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, Michelle, this is for you, right? See, that's oh. why I was asking, wanting to know Jeff's criteria. What makes you think that Jeffro has a criteria? <laughs> He's making this up as he goes along. <laughs> Actually, congratulations to Ads. He got Thunderbirds. And um, uh, Aaron's making me look pretty bad because uh, a show I love and I completely missed it was Metal Mickey. So um, I can't win them all. But uh, we'll put Metal Mickey in the honourable mentions. Anyway, <laughs> let's move along to the uh, next group. So, again, in the uh, the TV uh, genre, uh, I mean, there was a whole bunch of um, – uh, Doctor Who ones we could have uh, put in, like Daleks and Mechanoids and um, Supervox and the whole kit and caboodle. But uh, I just thought, well, I'll just have K9 represent the, the Doctor Who crowd. Hang on, hang uh, on, hang on, hang on. I'm going to – I need my bone of contention. Technically, the Daleks aren't robots. They're travelling machines for the Khalid mutants. It's the only thing I remember from Genesis of the Daleks. So there you go. All right, let me wind that back. <laughs> Wouldn't that That's make them so then if they've got the no, human or it's they're equivalent to a car so you got those you got the car led media see this is my i'm yeah. going to put my Doctor Who nerdy cap yeah, on there technically. Hands left, hang on, stop talking if you okay so you got the car led mutants they got to travel around right they said oh so davros said we need a car for him so instead of making a batmobile or a thunderbird whatever they said hey let's just build this freaking thing we'll stick it right in there it's called a dalek and and they're, they're ready to rock and roll so uh there you go Daleks yeah, are not they cyborgs. They are travel machines. They actually say it in the show. They say they travel um, machines for the Khalid mutants. 
So, uh, so the, I assume the mutant can come out of the thing. So, um, yeah. yeah but in, in the newer series, in the newer series, they've got human elements. So they're they're oh. in, and the same with the Cybermen. They've got human elements in, underneath them. So, okay. sorry, new no, series. Originally, originally uh, now I'm going. I'm going classic here, right? For Genesis, the Daleks is the only one of the only two episodes I ever really watched. Uh, when Davros created the Daleks, and that's what happened. So maybe they have. What do you call it? Evolved since then. So maybe Claire and I are both correct. So uh, yeah, yeah, maybe you are. So yeah, anyway, good. I didn't have I didn't have Daleks in the presentation. So technically, I'm right. Kane Canine is a correct <laughs> choice. <laughs> yeah, Canine. Yep. Yeah. And of course, um, from the other television shows, we have uh, Lost in Space, the absolutely recognisable B nine. Um, from Battlestar Galactica, the uh, equally recognisable Muffet, the Daggett. And from the last one, probably nobody would guess, uh, but I will have to tell you it's Jerry Anderson and Fireball XL5, Robert the Robot. So uh, that's the last one there. I like how in Muffet, right, they call him a Daggett. And when you first hear that in the show, you go, why don't they just call it a dog? Like, like originally Muffet was an actual dog. It's like, why don't they just call him a dog instead of this? Now, I'm going to stand you can call this a Daggett because it's a mechanical one, right? Okay, I get that. But the actual dog, the real dog, was called a Daggett as well. And that's just like, just call it a dog and stop trying to be so fancy with these things. So, anyway, whatever. So, there you go. Okay. Now, venturing off into the, uh, the animated television uh, series. Well, we've got Dynamite. Dirt. Well, it says Dynamite on the uh, the picture. We have Frankenstein Jr. Dirt, because it says Frankenstein Jr. And uh, last, we have uh, Rosie the Robot. So, of course, everyone remembers her quite fondly as the uh, the maid from the uh, the Jetsons. So, how 60s is that to actually have a maid? So, uh, unless you're Kanye West or someone like that, but uh, uh, there's there's a heap of heap of different robots in um, in 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 cartoons but these are just three examples hang on so michelle has mentioned bender can't be missed so did you miss that honorable mention <laughs> but as i said he can't mention everything <laughs> <laughs> jesus christ oh dear what would the tardis be counted as probably a, a blue box That's a well, spaceship airship yeah there we go spaceship. type 40 travel machine so there you go oh god we're doctor who's nerding out big time here so there you go uh yeah hang on we got down yeah, hang on, Ed, just slow down, son. So there you go. Anyway, we move along. <laughs> okay, we're moving on to uh, movies. And, of course, we have uh, Chappie from the movie. Hang on, what's it called again? Oh, shit, what's that called? Uh, District um, 9. Oh, District no, 9, that's right. <laughs> yeah. So movie oh. Chappie, Chappie. He's a happy Chappie, um, <laughs> except when he's getting shot. But um, very good um, movie, if nonetheless. Uh, the um, Valley Forge Drones. And I was going to call them Huey, Dewey, and Louie, but because I only fit two on the shot, I thought, well, I'll just call it Happy Force Drones because technically that's what they are. And they're so, uh, yep. And uh, last but not least, the classic um, uh, Gort from The Day the Earth Stood Still. So uh, very memorable uh, uh, robot, one from the uh, classic 50s genre. Now, if you're a person who gets very upset at watching Happy Things carpet in movies, don't watch Silent Running because you do have Huey, Dewey and Louie, as Jeffrey mentioned, and one of them doesn't have a very good day at the office, and I'll tell you mm. what, it's an absolute T-joker. So, uh, yeah, it's a, a tad on the uh, depressing side. Oh, here we go. We've got Twiggy from Buck Rogers. I like that one. So that, was, that got missed. Go and say it's an honourable hey, movie. Right? It's not over until it's over. <laughs> but, <laughs> well, it is over for Twiggy because that's in the honourable mentions list. So, uh, uh, And uh, back to the movies, we have uh, Wall-E. Uh, and there was also the uh, the other robot in Wally, but I couldn't find a good image. Uh, the Iron Giant. And uh, anyone want to take a guess where Weibo is from? No, don't know. Flubber. No. So um, I think it was from Flubber. I should have written down in your notes. <laughs> Dude, I'll tell you uh, but, what. Uh, yeah, go on. So, um, yeah, they're just uh, more examples of your... Um, your, your robots from the movies. And uh, I think that was the last one in that. So the honourable mentions we had in Good Robots were uh, Robbie the Robot from uh, um, The Invisible Boy. And Forbidden See what Planet. I did there. Um, Bob, the uh, Biosanitation Battalion robot from Black Hole. Uh, Johnny Five from Short Circuit. Uh, Tweaky from Buck Rogers. 
uh, Baymax from um, Big Hero 6. And one that um, I'm surprised nobody picked me up on was Seven Zark Seven and One Rover One from Battle of the Planets. Oh, so they were the honourable mentions. I was waiting for you to finish. That's why, you know, I'm sitting here just quietly waiting for you to get through your list. All right. Uh, and you Fluffer, missed another sorry. one. Um, you go on. Bone of contention. Uh, it, Daniel's right. It was actually uh, Flubber. So I flubbed that one up. <laughs> Jeez. And the other bone of contention. Claire's right too. Chappie was from Chappie. Wasn't from District, yeah. District 9. You know what? I think for next time we do this presentation, we'll give Jeffro the How's Your Father and bring all these other people in to do it for him. <laughs> uh, well, another, oh. another bone of contention. Herculoids were not, uh, had a Barbera Herculoids were not robots uh, for mm -hmm. Bill. True. Oh, Very good. Uh, and there is one that you did miss. Nobody would know this. There was a robot dog from the humanoid from the 1970s. And it was, yeah, okay, let's move on. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Okay, now we're on to the uh, the bad guys. So, um, um, not very good when there's um, bad guys. I know that uh, Bill will probably know this one, but uh, probably not many other people. This is from a um, an eighties movie called uh, Chopping Mall. So the, this is uh, an example of the kill bots. When shopping costs you an arm and a leg. I remember that. Was oh video. my goodness! <laughs> oh, I did not see that one coming. I tell you. <laughs> Crikey. So um, here we have um, uh, Hector, which um, is from uh, Saturn 3. So that was very scary. I remember that movie uh, very well. Uh, and harking back to the old uh, Superman shorts, uh, the mechanical monsters in that. And, uh, I mean, there was many uh, mechanical uh, robots in the Godzilla series and all that. Uh, so uh, I chose Mecha Godzilla to represent all those uh, different robots. So Daniel mentioned Maximilian earlier from Bla uh, Black Hole, which is a very, very uh, uh, coming up soon. So because uh, oh, very good, that's a baddie. That's a baddie. So uh, it's that's in the good. honourable mentions. Very good, and um, and you're right, Claire. Seven and nine being a cyborg. Yeah, that's that's interesting, isn't it? So once you start out, out like the six million dollar man, adding um, artificial elements to them uh, to a person, then they start becoming something completely different. So, yeah, it makes you wonder what the boundary line is. So does a human being with an artificial heart officially, I mean, in real life, are they officially a cyborg or not? Or how far do you go before you start saying you are a cyborg? You know, some people are starting to implant um, things into their hands so they don't have to use smartphones when they're tapping and going. They just use, you know, use their wrist or whatever. So do you do wonder how far I can go before you start tipping yeah. over to being the male, female, whatever, whatever, and then cyborg? So, um yeah, exactly right. <laughs> so there you go. Oh, there we go. That's the end of it. So what are your honourable mentions, Jeffro? Yeah, so the uh, honourable mentions in the bad guys are Roman from uh, Robot Monster. Was we Robot have, Monster? yeah, Roman. Oh, Robot you know? Monster. <laughs> Robot Monster, yeah, thank you. Uh, Vincent, which stands for Vital Information Necessary Centralised. Hang on. Oh, I'm a... disappointed. You were reading that off a sheet of paper. You didn't actually yeah, know that. Yeah, I'm not you. <laughs> I had, to, I had to read. I had to read all those uh, those ones off, like Bob and um, Ted and Alice and all those ones. Um, in in the, um, uh, the Japanese front, we had a mechanical King Kong in King Kong Escapes. Uh, Maximilian, of course. Uh, now this is an interesting one. I put in the robot from the movie of Lost in Space from 1998. I mean, I sort of remember that he was a bit of a, a bad guy, but uh, I guess you know you can sort of look at that in different ways. And um, last was the um, the Cybernaut from the Avengers television show. So that was my uh, honourable mentions, although there's probably a few other bad robots in there that um, uh, yeah. I've forgotten. Like the yeah. bad robot, bad robot productions. Obviously, no. I missed that. You've, you've, mi you've forgotten Ed 209 from yes. Robocop. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, yeah. That's, uh, that's why forgot. I bring in the discussion to, to get all the ones that um, – that I miss the millions that you missed uh, from the Batman, uh, from the Superman series, um, and I think there was an animated film with him, Brainiac. Yeah, I actually watched uh, that last week. Yeah, um, uh, it's the cyborg the, uh, the, from the Superman as well. Yeah, Ads has asked if Mecha Godzilla was a goodie or a baddie. Uh, technically, a baddie. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, oh, I like that. I oh, like Claire's father is a cyborg. I reckon that's kind of groovy. So there you go. Um, 
Yeah, there's a whole long yeah, Cylons, yeah. Well Cylons. yes. Yeah, especially the old this is the old centurions, absolutely they're robots. So uh mm. there you go. And, um, and there's a whole there's a whole section that Jeffro missed, which I'm completely baffled that he forgot all about the Transformers. All robots. Uh, I I actually deliberately missed them in in terms of the fact like um, Star Wars and um, and Doctor Who. I thought there's just too much there that I thought well I'll just skip over that knowing that you were going to mention it because how could do, you and, not? And am I going to make? Do you know what I'm going to say psychically? Do you know what I'm going to say about the next set of cartoon robots? Uh, you're probably going to say uh, Voltron. No. Okay. Machine Men. Mm. Oh, really? I don't watch the show, so I don't know if there's anything uh, in there. That was back in the eighties, and it was the it was the terribly bad made version of Transformers. Um, ah. So yeah, the Machine Men were another same idea, cheap, nasty, same cheap, nasty toys, which lasted about two seconds. I I I could I could I could see you and raise you with Captain Power and the Soldiers of Fortune. The uh, J. Michael Skunsky uh, uh, short-lived television series, and they had uh, bad robots in that. Okay. And what were the the round balls in Terror Hawks? Oh, the uh, the Zeroids. Yeah, they would they... be classed as good robots. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Shame on me. I mean, I'm a big Terror Hawks fan, and I didn't include it. Bloody hell! The nerds are running free at the moment. I tell you what. <laughs> talking nerdy. We are talking nerdy. Uh, oh, Pacific Rim. Would they? No, that wouldn't be classed as robots. Would they ads because they've got people driving them? They're like yeah, I'd, I'd say that. Yeah, they're called mechs. So yeah, no. they're not but quite it, automated. It's like calling a power load or a uh, robot. Yeah, it doesn't exactly. quite work. No, exactly right. So there you go. Oh, there we go. Look, William, you've made William's Day soldiers of the future. So there future. you go. Jeffrey. Yeah, Bloody sorry. Uh, yeah, it's sort of. Does it. It's an interesting one, isn't it? The whole cyborg robot, you know, da 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 thing, and 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 yeah, as I said. So maybe next week we'll discuss about synthetic humans because you know, with Picard finishing the way it did, that's just opened up a whole plethora of worms, worms going everywhere regarding how that works. So um, there we <laughs> there we go. We'll have to check that out and see how we go. But we've certainly got some good contributions there. Plenty of honourable mentions. Presentation could have been a lot longer, but that's okay. It's good. <laughs> oh, golly, wally, wally. So there you go. Um, the only one that I can think of that wasn't mentioned anywhere was GOG. This is really obscure stuff. Um, mm. And I think the Colossus from Mar uh, from New York was a robot as well, but this is really obscure. This is when robots were just boxes, you know, and they would just have dudes walking around in them and they were pretty horrible. Uh, Universal Soldier, Cyborgs, yeah, I guess that would be correct. Wouldn't that be, Jeffro? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, and oh, speaking of box box robots, uh, one that I thought I'd put in, but obviously I hadn't, was uh, Tobor the Great. Mm. Yeah, that was mentioned earlier by uh, Aaron, yeah. I think. Oh, actually, oh, but, go on. Yeah, no, I I didn't see it. So uh, well done, Aaron, if he picked that one out. Now, in terms of modern day ones, um, there's one that I just I did write down because I saw this on a uh, movie on Netflix. It only came out last year. It's a movie called I Am Mother. Now, I'm oh yeah, yeah. That. That is yeah. very, very funky stuff about the girl who's actually being brought up by an actual robot uh, after a post-apocalyptic sort of thingy. And um, that robot was, that's like one of the stars of the show and it's all um, done by mm. Weta Digital, uh, Weta, Weta Workshop. And, uh, yeah, that's actually very, very cool. So for those who like their robots, uh, be sure to check that one out. So uh, there, There's yeah. two others. Uh, there's Robot and Frank. There's another robot. That was oh the Frank. Oh, my goodness, that's Yeah. yeah. Uh, and in He-Man, the Master of the Universe cartoon had a Roboto because they were really original with their names, if you remember. <laughs> Mr. Roboto. Yeah. Oh, speaking of cliche uh, robots, the one I didn't get to put in, um, uh, and this is going to be one that's really obscure, is Chomps, which is the uh, which is the robot dog from the movie Chomps, C-H-O-M-P-S. <laughs> oh, golly. There's, no. there's, there's lots out there. Oh, I'll tell you why. So there you go. Isn't it lucky we didn't include stuff like Star Wars and bloody Star Trek and whatever? And there was a little bit of Star Trek in there. So, uh, uh, yes, very, very, very good stuff. You, you, you've got an idea if you want to use it for the next Moss Eisley Monthly. Oh, yeah, good. Uh, yeah, exactly right. Yeah, robot <laughs> yeah. from Sky Captain. Yeah, exactly right. So they're all over the place. So some of them are obviously a little bit more memorable than others. Hang on. Was it, didn't Maxwell Smart end up with a robot dog? Uh, no, that was Jaime was the robot. The dog was called Canine. 
Oh, oh no, it was Fang. Was it Fang? Fang, Fang. yes, Fang, you're Fang. right. Yes. And Fang never did anything. That's right. So, um, uh, yes, exactly. But Jaime was definitely a robot. So, uh, yeah, remember the time he used to just do his chest and the thing would come out? And no, that's not. Did he do that? Was it? He used to do his thing. You know, he, forget it. Come on, Jeffro, yeah. help me out here. You're the Get Smart fan. He used to press things and his hair would go up and down and all this sort of stuff. I just want to see you get a bone. Of, I just want to see you get a bone of contention. So <laughs> keep going, son. Keep going. <laughs> he out of his mouth, so there you go. All right. So with that in mind, we're going to buzz off. We will see you all uh, next week. Uh, make sure you stay self-isolating. Keep your masks on when you go outside and all the rest of it. And in the interim, all we can say is <gasps> stay nerdy. Stay nerdy. Eric.